BKS fam, welcome back to another video. Today, as you guys saw in the thumbnail, we're going to be picking up a nano six gallon fish tank. Uh, it's going to be my first saltwater tank, so we're going to go pick that up. We're going to try and build this tank for under $200 because as you guys know, and as I know after looking at them, they're pretty expensive. So I'm going to check off up right now and we'll see what we find. Offered him 80. He said if I pick up, he can do the 80. That sounds good to Our me. Bucks. Um, 9:30. Okay. And let's see what do you say right here. Sounds good. Can you please text me tomorrow? Confirm. I said yes. <laughs> I meant to, but see you in an hour. All right. We'll see him in an hour. Um, I don't want to record picking them up because I don't know how strangers feel about the camera. But I'll show you guys when we got in hand. guys so this is the tank right here it is a six gallon nano cube um, this is everything that it came with here if you take a look at the top this just pops open up here like a clamshell and that stays open um, I'm gonna give it a cleaning right now I just want to show you guys everything it comes with so this is all the like filter media so this is gonna go in this right here uh, some bio stuff right here some bio balls right there that's all gonna go behind here so none of this is gonna be seen and the guy even gave me a heater to go along with it and he told me that he kind of tucked it behind here and then ran it through this hole right here which I think is a pretty good idea that way it's not seen in the tank either and obviously the water is gonna be kept warm behind there uh, so I think we'll do that too and then he said he actually so, so this is like a third party tank now I'm the third owner but he said the previous owner had this because this just covers right here the filter and what that's for is if you have like seahorses or small stuff that can get sucked up to the filter so this is just a cover so I don't think we'll be needing that because what I plan to put in this tank is like some peppermint shrimp uh, maybe a little jawfish a goby maybe uh, but the main thing I want to put in here is a clownfish so I gotta obviously clean all this. I'm gonna, hopefully, it's Labor Day weekend, guys, which I didn't mention. So it's Labor Day weekend. Um, I don't know if any fish stores are open, but if they are, I wanna get some sand, I wanna get some rocks, live rocks, some, maybe some corals or an anem a little anemone, if I'm gonna have the clownfish. I don't know yet. This is just really, I'm gonna clean it, set it up. This may take longer than a day, so you guys may see me another day finishing up. But, um, yeah, I'm going to clean it. We'll, I want to get the cycle started, so hopefully a fish store is open today so I can go get everything I need to start the cycle. If not, like I said, you guys will see later on down the line. But either way, it's all going to be combined into this one video. But, yeah, let me get this cleaned up, and I'll show you guys the results. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, so I gotta remove the lid here just so I can rinse everything out. As you can see, we got some soap and stuff in there and that's not gonna be good for our stuff. So I'm gonna remove the lid so we can kind of rinse everything out, make sure there's obviously no leaks. The guy said there was no leaks, but we just wanna double check to make sure. So I'm just gonna remove this and we'll test for leaks. camera died I, I have Amazon batteries on the way or I ordered batteries on Amazon um, so I'm sorry that I keep saying that the camera died but the camera died um, I'm gonna go out and I got all the media and everything clean I'm gonna put it in right now uh, just want to show you guys I'm putting it in and then I'll put the lid back on and then hopefully we'll head to a fish store and see what they got for us So we're on our way to our first fish store. Hopefully they're open. Like I said, it's Labor Day weekend and it's actually Labor Day today recording. So um, we're gonna go see if they're open. Sorry for the background noise. We are on the Subaru. Uh, but yeah, let's go see if they're open. They're closed. Closed. All right guys, so as you saw, that place was closed, which I honestly figured Mom and pop shops always have the best stuff. They're most likely gonna be closed Labor Day, obviously. Might as well take advantage if you own the place to be closed. All right guys, so Petco's open. Uh, so we're just gonna see what they got here. Hopefully they have something for the tank. Uh, but this is all their fish stuff. as far as like decor and stuff they had sand and everything but i want like some nice live rock and i think my best bet is gonna be to wait for like i would say one of the mom and pop shops because they usually stock heavy on that type of stuff whereas petco pet smart and the re the like big box stores they won't have much of the nice stuff that i want they'll just have the standard fake stuff and stuff like that um but I am gonna check one more place and that's gonna be it. If not, this day, this video will continue on another day. Okay guys, so we got everything we need. We got the sand, we got the rocks, we got some quick start and stress zyme here. And we got our already treated water. They priced this incorrect, so we saved like $12 on this stuff. So we honestly, I'll show you guys the receipt when we get home, but we got everything we need to set it up. Like I said, price does not include the fish or the corals, but we're all set. So this was our total at the pet store, $133.12. So we did go over budget by $13.12. Alright guys, so we're back at home now. We got everything we need right here. The tank is nice and clean. Now, I don't know, I guess that's just salt buildup from uh, the guy's other tank setup, obviously. But when the water's in there, you can't see any of that. I think it's just because it's dry that we see it, so that's not a big deal to me. Um, first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to rinse our sand right here. This is the sand we picked out. Carib Sea Aragonite. I have no idea about saltwater aquarium, so I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. But this is the sand we picked. Um, we're going to go and rinse it out using this little Home Depot bucket in there. As you guys know, if you're starting aquariums and you get any gravel or sand or even decor, you want to rinse it out in hot water. Make sure you get all the like dust and anything off in there because you don't want to mess up 
obviously anything that's going to be going in your tank or have any dust or any just nasty cloudiness in there. So we're going to go and rinse that off and then we'll show you the live rock that we picked out and then we're going to start scaping this tank. Alright guys, and we are all set. So this is the scape here. We're going to show you a front view right now. And then I'm going to turn off the, or close the lid and turn on the light right here. So you guys can see how it looks with the light. There's no water yet, obviously. But as you guys know, like gobies and the little fish I plan on putting in here, the peppermint shrimp and stuff like that, they like little crevices and holes to get through. And I put a little cave right here, so I think this is going to look really good. As soon as we get the water in, we'll show you guys what it looks like and we'll get the filter going and all that stuff too. Alright guys, so we got everything dialed in here. As you can see, it's filled with water. We're going to close this lid, turn on the light, and then we'll flip our switch here and it's going to activate everything, the light, the filter, and everything so you, can guys, you guys can see exactly how it looks. So let's close this up here. Turn on the light. And then flip our switch. And this is the tank. I am so excited for this one, you guys. I cannot wait to stock this tank with my live fish see it really grow hopefully i did everything correctly all my salt water keepers out there let me know if i did something wrong or if i'm missing something but i just think this tank looks beautiful just look at it one more time there i just think it looks amazing i hope the fish love it i hope everything thrives in this tank i'm gonna get corals for it all this stuff it's gonna be like a perfect reef tank hopefully anyways guys that's gonna wrap up today's video uh, time for the did you know still haven't got any comments guys so comment down below did you know any type of fact it could be anything I just relate to what's what I'm recording today so today's fact of the day is did you know that saltwater ecosystems turn carbon into oxygen and for that reason salt water provides over half the oxygen on the planet just a fun fact for you guys so that's why our oceans are important so make sure you guys take care of your stuff saltwater related and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.